Hello and welcome to my F122 driver grim idea today for the final part of season 2 for part 32 for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Before we get into it, because it is a sprint weekend, we are qualifying first and we're going to quickly get through this to try and keep the video length down up to our first run. And we crossed the line and it was an alright lap. But this Aston Martin isn't great as we've worked, worked out so far, but we did get a very, very good result last night in Mexico. Make sure to watch that if you haven't watched it yet. We are up there by about half a second as it currently stands. Up to the line we go. So I went for the run again and we ran out of BRS and didn't manage to improve on our time being pushed by a Red Bull. And it would mean that we would start the race in P18, the sprint race that is, if we get overtaken by Perez. Here is a grid for the sprint. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, and Hamilton, Russell, Ricardo. Perez and Yuki Tsunoda, Gasly, Magnussen, Lance Stroll and Ocon, Albert, Joe, Mick Schumacher and Brown, Schwartzman and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So we sit here on the grid waiting for the final sprint race of the season. We're starting on the mediums and let's see where we can go. But yeah, this is post commentary. Apparently I was concentrating too much whilst doing it live. There was absolutely no commentary whatsoever. But the four five red lights. Come on now. The five lights are out and we are racing. The two Ferraris battling up top. And now we've just got to gain some places at the start. Straight over to the inside of a couple of cars starting down in B18. We've still B18, we haven't gained into positions. We've tried to cut it back and we have gained one from the Haas there. And now we're on the back of those in front thinking about the dive bomb. Do we do it though? Yes we do, down the inside of the Williams of Albon and Albon stuck in our, stuck in our side and we've made a mistake and Albon. He's then flying off the track. And that's not very good. Albon, of course, went straight down my inside at America at Turn 1. So that was a little bit of payback, I guess, in terms of that very, very dodgy racing going into Turn 4. And let's see if we can gain any more positions. Oh, 
So Larch drives on the back of us now and we make a little mistake, we go a bit wide and now Larch drives sets us up beautifully as we can now hopefully cling on This is Carlos Sainz winning the sprint race as it stands, but he's got his fellow Spaniard behind him in Fernando Alonso, who pulls to the inside. Fernando Alonso takes the lead of a sprint race in Brazil. And he's got the job done and Fernando Alonso leads once again in Formula 1. This Ferrari isn't very healthy, they must have turned the engine down to avoid what happened to Charles Leclerc because Max Verstappen is through. So Fernando Alonso has won the sprint race, we are going to start P14, we can only really realistically go forward, but let's see what happens in the real thing then. It's time for the final Grand Prix of the season, it's the Brazilian Grand Prix. Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Kevin Magnussen, and Gasly, Ocon, Brown, Ricardo, and Lewis Hamilton. Sonoda, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Verstappen, Nicholas Latifi, and Russell, they've taken a grid penalty. Schwartzman, Mick Schumacher, Lance Stroll, and Guan Yu Zhou. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Albon, Charles Leclerc completes today's grid order. And now, it's time to head down to the track. One final time, and then I want to see if it happens. One more time, for been absolutely mugged up. Oh my god. Okay, 
to send it back into time once so and I'll get most of the traumatic. However, I don't know. I don't know. Here comes the McLaren coming straight back at us. Oh, it's all kicking off in from between the Magnus and the Macron. There we go. Yeah, Macron. So after the first couple of laps things started to calm down a little bit and we were just edging our way closer to West Ban Ocon who we just couldn't quite get close enough to through the centre refs as we got very close here and as we go a little bit wide through turn three we're looking to try and set him up here to get that job done and try and keep with Gasly who's further up the road as it as there are some points up for Rob today possibly. No, you're joking! You better find a quick fix, man. You can see me struggling to overtake Ocon, I know the DRS has failed. It's helpful. This Lewis has no impact on Magnus at all. I can't really get a rest train now. I've got no ERS again. Okay, we've got the stick train now, come on. Going for it down the inside. We've done it again, we've gone wide. Fifth time now. We're making sure there's no way back far and we've got the job done. So I thought we'd start to make some progress on the Gasly, but the AlphaTauri engine, the Honda engine, has exploded. On the final Grand Prix of the season, five laps we went of keeping Ocon at bay, but the other Alfredari is coming back at us. We force him to the outside after we tried to go round our outside. We defend that, and he has had to back out a little bit, and that has left him slightly vulnerable, in fact, to Kevin Magnussen in the heart, who's up his inside, and can Magnussen hold the line at the inside? No, he can't. Ocon gets the exit. There's Hamilton so frustrated behind him. Towards the end of that lap, now lap 16. Here comes Ocon. He's 
is thinking about it for about to the inside, but Phineas and the Rex is, is going to set us up beautifully then for a run down into turn 4, the second DRS sign. We go wide, and here's the trash and just do fly past us. Nothing I can do there. Archon right overtakes us. We're back to square one. Ah, I tried to get up the inside of Ocon coming into the pits. It was not there, unfortunately. Come on in, lads. Let's beat him out. Come on. What? What an achievement. Yeah, please. And I thought the main bit I wanted to do. He how he did the same thing as me. Inside, it's Charles Leclerc, Ockham tries to cut him back. The Russell Ryan is still strong on the tea time world champion. So, I love it, it is. Ooh, a nice hook up from Ockham. Attack, attack them. Mm -hmm. So, after that mistake from Ockham, we managed to pull away. But a healthy lead just ahead, and this is Daniel Ricciardo in what is his final Grand Prix of the season of his career. Of course, he announced his retirement back in Monza. That seems like a long while ago now. He couldn't get the job done though for a turn one. But now to the inside, that McLaren has good straight line speed to go down the inside and pass the Alfatari, and it will be Max Verstappen up next to do it missing out on the world championship again this year hoping for it next season but can he get a good finish to this season there's not that many laps to go but he's past the alpha tarry and now can keep in his hunt with his former teammate daniel ricardo we were just about sticking with yuki sonoda at this point in time we were following him, we were a bit like we were to Ocon in the opening stint of the Grand Prix, just not getting close enough to make an impact on him. And eventually we did get caught by Ricardo and Verstappen, and Ricardo blitzes us like we're not even there. We've, we know this Aston Martin does not have good straight line speed. We found that out back in Monza and Belgium as well. And now Max Verstappen when that Red Bull is a literal bullet in a straight line down the inside he goes but he goes deep we swap him the dummy we get the traction we force him off the track and we stay ahead of the Dutchman but he's back on us now and it wouldn't take him long round the outside he has the straight line speed and he's through
when you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. So Lando Norwich wins the final race of the season here in Brazil. Great for him, he didn't just win it though, he dominated it. You can see the gap there of how much he won by. We got home for P9, the final points on the board. We finish 11th in the Constructors' Championship, 23 points ahead of Lance Stroll. Charles Leclerc is another world champion for this season, headed by Max Verstappen in P2, Lewis Hamilton P3 and George Russell P4, who of course, watching the season back, had a great start to the season but tailed off so did Mercedes really. We finished sixth in the Constructors' Championship for this season. That win last time out very much helping us in the race. We constantly had to drag this car up into places it never deserved to be, such as last time out in Mexico. Here on the screen, you can see all the results for the season. Our best result coming last time out in Mexico, of course. And it's been a fairly okay end to the season from really Singapore onwards, the last four races, really. You can see the R&D as well there, how much everything has gone on, I guess, and everyone's developed. For this season, there is, of course, now a seat open at McLaren. Who will fill it? I guess we'll have to find out. If I want to fill it, there's a lot of legal stuff that happen as I'm tied down to a two-year contract with Aston Martin. But anyway, there's a seat there at McLaren. I hope you enjoyed this season. We've had some great races. There's been a lot of lows. There's been a lot of ups as well. A very, very mixed, mixed bag of the season. We started it shockingly. And you think about the start of the season and getting outscored by Stroll for about a quarter of the season. And then finally coming back at Lance and obliterating him in the driver's standings. Even though the team did everything possible to make sure that wouldn't happen, we made sure it did. In terms of the channel, we're going to be taking a break from this. Maybe go back to some F1 manager and maybe other other games and other stuff on the channel. There's some things I want to try, not just game related. If you're interested in that, then stick around. We don't know what's going to happen next season, what the future has for us in this driver's career mode. But what we do know is we've got our first win this season and I will see you next season. Goodbye.